Hey guys, I'm Rich. And I'm Kelly, and we're Wonderbus Adventures. Today we're doing something very exciting. We're finally gonna try and make some decisions about our layout. But first of all, check out our little hatch. Here, I've got my fresh water tank um, that we showed in our previous video. I mounted everything on top of the tank. So what I want to be able to do is to access that from within the vehicle, should I need to check it or clean it out. Um, I have built it so I can drop the tank, but if I can get away with not doing that, then that would be good also. So what I've done is bought this boat hatch, which I'm gonna put in the floor roughly here between the beams. Um, and then that will be insulated on the top. I'll be able to pull that out with a lid, which I'm gonna make in the, the top floor. Um, and this is hatched so I can open it and access underneath. So what I'm gonna do now is just drill through the corners and then jigsaw this out so I can fit this hatch up. Well, I've made a lot of dust and I've used the uh, router to just tidy up the edges of here. The hatch is trial fitted. Um, I'm just going to paint, as I've just mentioned, around the edges and leave that to dry overnight. Just paint that up with some paint to seal it up. Give it another coat in the morning, let that dry off. Yeah, a bit far. What's under there? Are you in the hole? Are you joking? <laughs> what do you think it's for? It's for the sink. Maybe. Should we tell everyone what it's all about? We've just installed the hatch and used some of this uh, plastic tape underneath it. You can see that it's squashed out the edges there. So I'm just going to get some wood screws um, and tighten that up. And then I'll trim the excess off around here. I'm just going to put a bead of sealant all the way around. And then that will be all air and water tight. Realities of van build in winter. Here is the less spotted bucket ice, which has collected many a leaf overnight. I digress. Let's crack on with today's Okay, Okay, so they're coming. They've not seen the seats with the floor in yet, I don't think. Here they come. Little ginger from the rain. Fab, what do you think of the seats? Wow, it's amazing. I want to sit in them. Which one are you having? This one. Yeah? Hey, Amazing. Happy? Yeah. Hi, guys. We are just about to start measuring out some of the layouts that we've got to mind to see if it's actually going to work or not, aren't we? That's right. Are you excited? Yeah, and little Ginger is too. Is she? Yeah. Her first time on the bus, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and I'm not going to do it. And she's nice and clean, and it's raining, and I protected her from the rain. Good. So, um, here's a couple of the different layouts that we considered. There's Lily, say hi. So, so many different configurations that we're going to have. Um, so one of the main things that obviously we wanted was a fixed bed at the back here. The other things that we know are fixed in here, and I've drawn them on with perfect scale in each example, as you can see, <laughs> is that we've got the um, our seats that we've put in at the front, which are quite big, but they're comfortable and safe, so that's why we went for them. So that's mine and Lily's seat. So they're fixed in place. They do fold forward, which gives us a little bit more space. We've got the steps at the front, and then we've got these wheel arches. So we've got a couple of options that we could decide to do. We could put the bathroom sort of here. It comes out to about here, about 70 centimeters, we reckon, maybe a bit further. And then that leaves a little bit of space here, maybe to put a sofa or a cabinet. And then we could have over this side some cabinets. We could do it like that. 
um, but that would leave a little space here, not much space here, and not a very good, easy way of using the space here. Another option we've considered is putting the bathroom so it comes lengthwise into the bus, and in that way we can have a shower in here at the tallest part of the bus and have our toilet here and then <coughs> we think we could put maybe the kitchen along here another option that we're going to try and go through is is very similar so again the bathroom either here or here we're not sure, sure which side and then instead have the sofa here we could then pull out like a, double a bed, bed and then have some sort of kitchen unit here. So that's what we're gonna try and figure out with our layout. But the main things that we want to try and have are a fixed bed, a bathroom, and a kitchen. And we're now gonna try and mark it out or mock it up in the bus to try and make some decisions. Right, so this is where our bed is going to be. And we've not decided if we're gonna put, try and put Lily's above or not yet, we're not sure if it would work, but we are going to have a sofa bed anyway, or as well. So we're still deciding about that. But all this is going to be the bed and underneath be the boot. Hurrah! <laughs> Layout planning is really hard. So we taped ours out. We even brought some stuff in to the bus to sort of make um, barricades and obstacles of where furniture would be. So we've got to decide about this walkway and if we're going to like have it like it's like diagonal cut off here. We think we're going to have our sofa bed here and then opposite will be our kitchen. But again, we're not sure. Okay, so we finished the bus. The layout is complete. In we go. So Leo and Cal. We're in our seats. In your seats. Ready yeah. to go? Sit down then. Sit in your seat. Ready to go. Pretend Daddy is here. I'm in here. We're ready Daddy's to go. Daddy's right here. And we pad around. And, and we have our kitchen, kitchen area. And we have our seating area. And we have our bathroom. And we have our raised bed. You're going to have to use your imagination, people. But we're going to walk you through what our layout's going to be now. Okay. Right, okay. You squeeze past... There. So you squeeze past chairs and past the kitchen. So this is not ideal, but right let me show you how are. these chairs work. So I can get through here. So these chairs are quite clever. Okay, so that's one up. Um, and this one will go up too. Obviously, these will be level with the with the floor, so and you, you can can't stand on them. Lift them up, but yep, you so can't we stand on them. Yep, so we can put we're going to put twenty five mil insulation here, and then a skin of plywood, so these will all be completely flush. And then what you can see is that we've opened a walkway up. So, Lil, can you walk through? Okay. Show everyone that you can walk through. There's plenty of room. Walk up through the walkway. That's nice. There's going to be a step there. There's going to be a step there, raised up, so all of that platform is like a little hallway area, um, and all level. And then behind this plastic would be the bed, it would kind of be that height, wouldn't it? Yeah. And use your imagination, guys, to <laughs> yeah. see if you think this is real or not real. Yeah, exactly. This is our kitchen area mock-up, so... We're going to have it staggered. I'm going to take this away in a minute so you can see it taped on the floor. Um, but we've got a run of about 160, 170 flat in the middle here. And then it tapers off to a thinner area at each end. And then our kitchen space on the top um, is going to be about 55 centimetres deep. And then we're going to, along the top here, um, make sure we insulate and ply so we've got a bit of a splashback. So that's going to be our kitchen area, if I just spin around to where the girls are stood. Hello, so at the moment you are stood in the sofa bed area. So this sofa bed here, we worked out can be 
180 centimeters long and it will pull out to roughly where Cal's foot is there, 1100 to make a second bedroom area here um, where, you know, Lily or guests can sleep. So that's gonna be in there. And then we'll have lots of storage all underneath. Now this horrible pallet area here is an end wall and it will go all the way up to the ceiling to, the ceiling to form our bathroom area. There are walkways here, I can walk through. We're gonna have a quadrant sort of shower in here tray that we're gonna have to make ourselves. Then here, we're gonna have a step up. So it's level with here. Bear in mind that we've still got 25 mil um, and 18 mil of floor to go on here. So the step's only gonna be about four centimeters tall. We're gonna step up here. And then Kelly is stood in the shower right this second. <laughs> and then in here, we've got some plans to have Obviously quite a large shower tray that we're going to make ourselves. Um, over here, a toilet that's going to pull out a composting toilet that we're going to make ourselves or try and find one that will fit. Up here, we're going to cover these windows over after we've... Um, fixed the leaks. Fixed the leaks and... Tinted them. That's the one tinted the windows so no one can see what we're up to from the outside looking in, but it still looks like a bus. So in this next one, um, we've tried to make it a little bit more visual, but... It was really hard to do. I was literally drawing it with my finger. We did have an apple pen, but Lily got her hands of it and it got stuck down the side of the sofa and it got snapped in half. So another piece of information for you on this is that we film all of this stuff on our phone and then I actually edit it on my phone as well. So yeah. um, we try and get it right and we try to make it a bit visual so you can uh, understand the layout anyway. So yeah. Here's the layout with all of that gubbins out. So you can see that we're planning to have an angled kitchen sort of um, run of units along here that we'll have to custom make. So at the widest point, they're about five feet male, uh, which leaves us room here to walk in. Remember, this will be the same height as the floor, walk in and have around 550, 600 in the middle here. And then we've got room over here for a full length sofa bed. 180 centimeters long by 65 wide. And then when it pulls out, it's about 1100 wide with a gangway down the middle. We can walk down the gangway and then we're gonna quadrant off the bathroom area over here. Here we're gonna, I'm not sure where the step will come in, but remember we're gonna be a little bit higher here by around about 40 mil, which leaves a small step up um, to make. So it won't be that huge of a step, around about 50 mil to step up. And then this little area here will be like a little landing area, I guess. Um, so you can step up onto here and then walk into our bathroom in here. We'll say we'll have a shower and toilet. The toilet will pull out into the shower area so we can use that. And then on the front of the bed here, imagine here, we have some drawers that will pull out. The bed's gonna be elevated up to around this height along here, um, like a loft bed, which will fill this entire space. Now obviously is gonna be um, all boxed in like a normal bedroom, just filled with a bed. Um, and then we'll have that in here. We are planning to box the back of the bus off, but then I've got some plans, I think, to make sure that we've got an opening window on the inside at least, uh, so we can get those van life pit, van life views. Um, we don't wanna miss out on that, but we do wanna make sure it's nice and warm and cozy when we're going to bed at night. One final idea that we have up here, we potentially might have a little bunk area for Lily. Once we've got the, the base structure for the bed in, I'll have a much better idea of whether that's going to work or not. Um, so watch your space on that. All your eagle-eyed little sneaky sneakingtons may have noticed that we've got something different on our floor. 
um tune in next week to see us do that <laughs> thanks so much for watching guys as always like please put your comments down below um it's such a motivator it really is and like just ideas so we we've obviously showing you a few methods of how we tried to come up with a layout it's not set in stone yet so any considerations that we might want to make really would be welcome quite now like now um uh, yeah next week we're going to show you how we're going to be insulating and building our floor up it's all very exciting and hard work anyway keep safe and we hope you have a fantastic week and we'll see you next week one, two, three. Bye. Bye! This guy up here is called Lonely, but he's not lonely because he comes out and watches us do all of our building. He's our bus mascot. He's not very good on the tools yet though, but he's learning all the time. So yeah. Bye, Lonely. We need to get a new laptop as well because <laughs> <laughs> we've used up all the space on ours and it's like old, so we can't even use the latest like editing software. Basically, it's just all a nightmare. <laughs> It's fine. It's all fine. It's all fine. <laughs> we make do. <laughs>